Hello DeLoreans, my name is Tangy Delore, and today we are playing some City Skyline. And I'm going to start my city, um, giving that I'm going to give myself a little bit of the challenge to not destroy this landmark. I want to kind of start building around it as I can. I know these paths are super, super duper straight, but as of right now, I'm going to just try to build. Worst comes to worst, I could uh really um use the move it tool first of all because i have that installed i don't i know i should be better prepared but i actually don't remember all the mods i have downloaded either i can get, try to give you guys a list of them so that it will uh that will help um but really um i don't remember probably should be better prepared but i haven't played this game in a moment I thought I was making this better, but I honestly think that I am making this worse. So I'm going to keep it like that. My favorite part is to restart these games because then you kind of like can build anew and really see where your island can grow. So this could be my main drag right around here. And I kind of incorporated as much of the environment as i could um and then maybe maybe over because this is going to be the residential area but maybe over this way we can build the industrial and we can just build this connect this together which that's going to be terrible um honestly we're probably better off um say we're probably better off as i continue going and doing this we're probably better off just building like the same kind of setup I have on the other side. I don't want to waste too much money here in the beginning. Sometimes I get ahead of myself and it really messes things up. So I'm going to try and incorporate, I mean, try to, I don't even know what I'm saying. Uh, try to spend as minimum amount of money as I can. <laughs> uh, Go to, uh, I'm going to use these dirt roads and I'm going to make this more box like because I don't have angle snap on, do I? Oh no, I did. I did. Um, cause it is industrial. We can, we can kind of build on this environment too. Right around here. Um, I haven't played this in a while, so please. Don't kill me for my building skills. I promise if I if this gets a lot of views or if I enjoy playing it, because those are the two uh, kind of uh, factors into if I'm going to create more uh, Sims is first of all, if I enjoy playing it. But the other thing is if I get views on it as well, then I promise I will become better at building. Hopefully one can only hope I can't get worse. Can I feel that like people say that usually can get worse. I'm one of those people. All right, let's go try to bring this down. This looks terrible right here. A lot of mountains in this area. Is that all? Hmm. Does it need to be that way? <laughs> I never had that much trouble, or I don't remember having that much trouble with, um, uh with building with these hills this this is a very hilly area i'm guessing that looks good that looks that looks good it looks like an industrial area let's go start let's add the water before we get too ahead of ourselves and then we'll go or let's go electric because we'll, we're gonna go down the down the list so let's add some electric in here um which we can go add that to over here i believe the only thing is, I think this messes up these trees as well. I don't know, but I think that is how that worked. Um, if I recall properly. So I'm going to try to keep this as far away from this industrial location as I can, or away from these trees as I can. I guess I want it in the industrial location, but, um, uh, because I, <laughs> I want to keep this island as nice as I can because this is going to be one of my main islands or really my first um, 
my first uh, kind of glimpse on what I'm going to be building. So my main city or one of the, uh, I guess it would be called the capital, the capital of of my area. So I really want my capital to be um, looking as dandy as possible. Dandy dandy. So let's go and add a sewage plant right over here. Put this onto the roads because I like doing that. I'm not sure if anyone else keeps with this. I know some people do. Some some YouTubers I watch, they, they like to keep onto the roads. Some don't really care as much. Um, but I care. I like how it looks. I'm not like perfect. Like this is going to be underneath these two roads. But for this main uh, drag, I do you care how much money do i have Twenty six thousand, twenty five thousand. 25 000 Alrighty. so where do i want to build first do i want to build back here first um i guess i could have this like right i kind of i think that this beach is going to become a park or something later on so i want to keep that as clean as possible start building these these roads right over here and we probably can have like a diamond ish shape maybe something like that I don't <laughs> think I like that at all but let's see what that looks like um Usually I make like one shape and then I destroy like little lines and I try to incorporate it to look more what I desire. Like because then I can build more of a shape like something like that looks a little bit more organic. I do care about the functionality about it, but I also really care about like that it looks more organic. I think sometimes I could build a lot of these boxy areas and really they don't um they don't go for my style of building. Sure some people might like my style and some people might let not like it. Um but this is what I got right here. So now I got my little town area I got my industrial area. Just need to add some. Okay, this needs to be fixed. Um, and we got my little industrial area. We got my little town area. Main road, main drag. We're going to go start building stuff over here as well. Try to incorporate some parks. Let's go add some of these green boxes in. Um... The only thing that kills me a little bit about building like this is, as you can see, I have to go fill in all of these little tiny squares. And not that I really care, but I, I kind of like the houses being more on a grid sometimes because it looks more organized. Uh, but overall, I'm not going to build there because I want to keep those trees. Um, overall, I don't think it's really that bad and then this will be my main drag of buildings and there we go let's see how it looks let's go check out i think our happiness oh this person's not happy he's mr you know old sanchez lives over here oh he became happy sanchez sanchez became a good guy um uh Office, commercial happiness, office happiness, industrial happiness. Everyone seems pretty happy besides him. Jim. Jim. I like how it's the same house as the guy that wasn't happy before. Peter Allen. Jim Gordon. <laughs> I don't know. I, I just feel like these names I'm just coming up with are, are so random. But just whatever comes to my head i guess um we have the healthcare which we need to add i just don't want to add too many buildings because i don't know what i'm going to do about um some of this maybe i can go add 
Uh, this is going to be too many, too many entrances there. Maybe I can add this to here. Bring this a little bit back. Plop this right here. And I'll use the move it tool. Bring this back a little bit. Bring this back a little bit. Bring this back a little bit. Bring it back. And then I will add the nursing. What is this? Is this nursing? No, medical clinic. The medical clinic I will add inside of here. Probably right. Right there. So it's easy enough to get to. Kind of like a straight access to the main road, but also off enough so too many people aren't really getting, getting involved. Oh, it needs water. I'm sure that you do for your uh, patients. We could add a little water tower in here too, just for decorations. Honestly, I know I just moved back these people. Now that I'm, I'm going to kick out the business people. But uh, I think that this water tower would really really look nice uh i might add that right here can we name a water tower can i name this water tower all right so lakeside towers i guess that doesn't make sense i'll just name it lakeside water tower So let's see what else we have. We have a school. We need to put a school in soon. Um, probably could start building more more roads for how I want to go incorporate this. So this is... We should really have like a V here. That will be over there. All right, guys, so this is what I have so far. Like I said, I don't know what I'm keeping yet. I'm just trying to get, like, some kind of solid uh, foundation. It looks like there's some crime over here, so we're going to have to add a police station soon. But just to show you guys what I am looking or working with is I'm keeping this as one of the main roads because a lot of traffic is coming into here and taking all of these different environments and areas and adding them to really uh, taking them to this industrial area. And I don't want a crazy amount of traffic coming onto this main road unless you're coming from this road. Or I might even add a way over here that it's going to be another... There's, there's, there's methods to my madness is all I'm trying to say. There is a method to my madness. So this way that people are not just heading on from any which direction they think or see fit. They're really taking a, a path that has been designed uh, for travel. So that it, it doesn't overcome all these roads. Like all these roads don't become too over abundant. So let's go add a police station, which we'll add that onto the this main hub right now and then we're going to need to add a school i just do not have enough money for it yet so let's give this a look and i think it's time for us to go and really add this all into a district so that we can call this lakeview and this will be our little town I don't know if I have to separate. Oh, I just went so far over. I don't really know if I have to separate all of the town because this is a pretty big area for one town. I could have probably had a couple of towns in here. Like right here is Lakeview, up to here, have my police station and my fire department and everything on and then go. Congratulations, tiny town. Boop, boop, boop. Uh, so it looks like we have new roads whole bunch of those new canals i've never used canals some new fences 
new buildings, which is we got parks with trees, large playground, plaza with picnic tables, small parks, small playgrounds, plaza with trees, uh, high school. The plaza seems pretty cool. I could add in there high school, public library, paradox plaza, carousel, a uh, whole bunch of uh, basketball court, which is awesome. Dog park, Japanese. I'm just trying to see if I see anything that's really, really important. But as of right now, it doesn't look like it's crazy. Um, let's just destroy that as of right now. And that's my town. We're just going to go name it. And it's going to be Lakeside. And then let's see what the themes are. Oh, okay, those are like things that I have that I can add, but here we have power usage, water storage, smoke detection, pet ba ban, smoking ban, park and recreation. I don't know why you'd ban pets. Is there like, what is the perk of that? Slightly reduces garbage accumulation. I guess that's good. Slightly decreases happiness though. Of course, no one can own their dogs, but I really, I would never ban dogs. I'm sure there's people that do it. Prefer tour uh, tourism. And then paint, uh, park maintenance boost. That's actually awesome. Costs more for parks, though. And a fishing license. I didn't know you could have a lot of these policies, though, which is cool to find out. Um, let's go and... Um, I don't like that. Normally, I just try to build off of this some way in some form but honestly some of this stuff is just gonna have to be some park areas because it can't really be i don't want a lot of people on this main drag for a lot of these smaller things Let's see this Put this here, put this here, and then delete this, that there. I need to do something here, which I guess I could do that. The only problem with this is it might be too much traffic in here. But we'll see. How does it look, though? Looks awesome. It <laughs> kind of looks like a dog. Here's a thing. It's it's cool though. It's coming along. We need to add uh we need to add some parks or some basketball courts in here to make some people happy. I think there's a pla plaza. Definitely want to add the plaza. Um I need like a little town center though, because I want to really make this town feel alive. So maybe right around here or honestly i guess this would be like the center of the city i could go and make this more of a plaza area or some sort of attraction area i really oh this didn't save this did not save lake side Um, I really, um, I, I know I'm making a plaza or anything. I just need something to be able to stand out about Lakeside and our main, and our main hub. So uh, this is what we have so far. I know it's not the best, but it's a little plaza area coming along. Really, it, need, it needs some work, but we don't have a lot of the bigger buildings to add to this area. But right now, this is, this is what we got. Uh, we got this 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 little plaza. We're gonna go add some buildings here later on. Try to really build up this main street area. Um, but right now it's looking a little sad. But at least we got some plazas to to the police station. We like our police in this town. We got a clinic over here. Oh, my houses need some water. Let's go add that real quick. But really, it's just the start of the town. We're going to have to add a park in soon, which is going to be another step. I might add that over on this side, which might add to the town hall a little bit. So that at least people can go through here. They can go to this nice area, this nice park. Um, 
and maybe add some some uh some color to it because i do have to go around and i have to add some trees i might go do that right now guys and then be right back so that you guys can go and see it and you don't have to see me place all of these individual trees because i have to pretty much just place them one by one i don't know if you guys care or not but let me go and do that real quick and i will be right back all right guys so i just edited all these trees which this looks a lot more filled now you can see i might add a couple more water towers to add to the atmosphere of this because i i love the lakeview uh water tower right here that's definitely a shot um i might add another water tower towards this middle um of my town to kind of add like a a little bit more of an aesthetically pleasing kind of vibe to it I noticed that this is just really empty over here. So first we're going to go start adding some, some buildings. I definitely think that we need to get some construction going on over here. Get something, something going, uh, put some buildings down here, fill out our city a little bit more. Um, and I actually closed off this over here because if I decide to use this land, I might make a whole separate, little town that's a way that you might have to take like a back road to be able to get to um i kind of like that whole idea that there's like a a little town inside the town um and it gives a little bit more like kind of over here like this is a town but it it's away from the main kind of hub of lakeside uh i kind of like that whole idea maybe just a little back road here and there could be a whole uh, like I said, a little hidden town. Boom town. Oop, I didn't know I could skip through <laughs> like that. So, okay, so here's some pretty big pieces is I got new roads, which the new intersections pretty much can help me build further roads to the city. We got some six lane roads. We got some bus lanes, which we'll have to add in. Some ferry paths, which I never used ferries before, but I'm very interested in trying them out. Bus depots, child care, elder care. I'm just skipping through disaster respond unit. I've never had disasters before, but that's also awesome. Wave power plant, never use that. Small warehouse, that's awesome. Never use that. Fish factory, I've never used that. I was actually kind of interested in seeing how the fish stuff works. I, I saw some other item pop up again real quick, but we'll get to that in a little bit. Let's go and try to, let's try to add a little park in here for right now. I think that's what I'm... I want to work on next is this park. I think that lakeside needs needs a park. I notice you a little building with water. I will get you to you to be able to wind up doing that. So here's our park, which I'll name in a little bit. Let's go add some water to this. Um, and then we can go from there. Some of these pipes are gonna to have to get changed and delete it i'll delete some of these right now uh, but i'll delete these and then i'll edit them through so that looks a little bit better so now we have autumn city park which is going to change um which maybe we'll change this to lakeside lakeside national park because it's the first park of Lakeside, so this is this is the iconic park, the very first park of Lakeside. And let's go and edit this a little bit. So the main entrance, the main entrance can be probably located in the actual district area of like the city. It's really where I'm trying to make this go i'm going to use i think this is a small yeah so this is a small gate entrance or i could have the big one maybe let's see how this looks first add it in again and see if that looks better because i wouldn't mind the entrance being near the plaza or it may be in between the plaza and the let's go let's go put it in over here and we can do another entrance See how these look. That looks pretty nice. Now this one looks terrible over here. I don't know how to help that, but maybe you could do that. Perfect. That's good. 
try to make this as far as I can. Oh, that's cool. So let's do this. And that there. Don't want to destroy this. These, this walkway. It's really nice. So. Try to separate it as best as I can. And let's try to move this out a little bit. I can connect this up. Maybe. Probably. <laughs> no? Well, maybe I can make it just look like it's connected. Just like that. That looks better. Put this here. There. Remove this. Back to where it was. Remove this. Pretty much where it was. And... That looks good. So I don't think that looks pretty bad for Lakeside National Park. I gotta add a couple of these, um... These iconic... Uh, layouts, which we'll see how they make the, the land look after I'm done. See, the only thing I don't like is I really can't see what's going on with, uh, the stuff because it's, because it lights up like that. Like when you look at this, look, it's all blue. I like it. I get it. Go into the park boundaries, yada, yada, yada. But to a certain point, I would like to see what I'm looking at. Um, I don't know how to fix that. There's probably a button or something that I just don't know about, but I really do wish that I could have done something as it would, it would have helped. So that's looking good. I'm going to try to add maybe a different color, um, flower in here or plant, maybe like a cherry blossom, anything just to add like more of a vibrant kind of look to this park. Um, I think that everything else should be pretty green, but this should have like the almost a different kind of aesthetic to it to make it like stand out from the rest. Like, oh, I want to go visit this park over just walking out in the woods. So, <laughs> or just walking out and anything. The cherry blossoms are probably going to be the staple of Lakeside. I think these are cherry blossoms. Flower one. You know, that's a lot more aesthetically pleasing of a name than cherry blossom trees. Um, which, these might not actually even be really that kind of tree. Besides my bodies of water, I'm also not totally uh, caught up into my tree, uh, <laughs> my types of trees. So... But, sure I can, sure people get what I'm saying, even if I'm not totally accurate on what type of tree this is. Alrighty, so this is how I made my park. I know it's a lot of pink, but I like I said, I kind of wanted to make the different trees as you walk through. You can kind of see all the different types of flowering trees. People's allergies are terrible here, but at least they have a view. And it kind of makes up and adds to the beauty of the center of town, the police station, and the, uh, and the uh, clinic. I was going to say hospital. Um, and then really just make the atmosphere of this beautiful i think i saw some i think i think i think i saw somewhere that there was a playground set is that in was i seeing things or ah here we go and we could add a little playground set as well to it the park and really add to the atmosphere. Here we go. Get some seesaws in there. One of these. And then a swing. Is there a swing? No swing? None? Hmm. There's a gazebo though. 
Which we could definitely add one of those in here. Right in this center area. A lot of small things I've never seen before. Oh, there is a statue too. Which this is awesome because you could add this in here. So when you come in. See the noble, the noble horseman. And it, it could just be known. I, I don't know what all this stuff is, but. Alrighty, well, that looks good. I might move this a little bit. I might move this to like the center of the park. So. It must be a representation of Lakeside National Park. Maybe there's a battle fault here or something. Not quite sure. I just built Lakeside. I didn't really, uh, didn't really do anything else. Death care. I'm guessing no. Oh, that's what's happening is we need a cemetery. So add along the beauty of this area. I think we're going to go add a cemetery right across the street to <laughs> say the beauty of this area in the cemetery across the street. Some people are like, be like, oh, what are you, what is this guy talking about? I meant like, just because it's open land. I think that, uh, I think adding more land will make this area look like it has more parks in it and, um, going, but, you know, death could be beautiful too. Um, some might argue. Alrighty, so. Let is go. I'm going to destroy this stuff here. Keep this as open as I can for the time being. I need to go and start building more towns area. So, and um, maybe we could start building this little town back here too that I was talking about. A lot of different people that live in a town, you know. Some people might like their space a little bit more and this is this is where you go to live a little bit more of a country or side of life i guess um out of the way i say countryside of life and then the highway is right there for this as well and yeah just like that Probably don't want people living on this side of the road or this. This is too close to the highway. Yeah, it's probably too close. So we'll destroy that. So I got this little backside area over here now that people can wind up living in. Um, and uh, staying at. Could connect some of these, but I don't want any of these roads really. I don't know. I guess I can connect this together. And people can live back here and get away from maybe some of the city. Because this is just going to get more and more constructed over here. And I want people to have like a little bit of an escape. Let's go build our fire department. And we're getting around here. We just need a hospital and some more towns area. Some more town stuff, I should say. Add a little more trees around on this side. And, uh... Our, 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 see, uh this, is, this is growing on me. This, is, this area is growing on me. Uh, they need some power or electricity... We can we can help these guys out. They're not they're not off grid now. They're not they're not trying to live that different. Just just trying to get a little away from the town. Lakeside is looking good. So look at this. Uh, look at where we came from. It's definitely filling in. We're keeping a lot of this environment too. I I like a lot of these main roads coming in here. I don't have water on this house. The one house I forgot. I'm sorry. I'm, Again, this guy's distracting me. But uh, I like how it's really grown into a lot of the environment around here. I'm trying to preserve as much as I can, as I can um, without disrupting it. And thank you guys for watching my lakeside um, development of Bayport County. I think that's what I'm calling it. 
uh, Bayport County, Lakeside, my series one, uh, <laughs> kind of a new series of how I'm building and really how I build. I hope you guys like how I'm building uh, my city, how I kind of build my national park and adding a little bit of story behind Lakeside. I do need to remember to go out of Water Tower next episode as well somewhere so we can really, really get those aesthetically pleasing views as we we look across and uh, and uh, really grow our city. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm getting attached to my city. I like it a lot. Um, uh, sometimes you like your city, sometimes you don't, but this time I really, really am enjoying this playthrough. So thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. It really helps me, lets me know that you guys like what I'm doing. Also, it helps me with building content because I don't really know what videos to make. So I really appreciate you guys' input of really what to record and what, you know, someone else is going to like watching. Um, so it really helps me. But all right, guys, I will catch you guys on my next episode of Bayport Series 1. Uh, first episode, I guess, is Lakeside, uh, Lakeside National Park and plus more. <laughs> all right, guys, I'll see you.